mobile games? I bet that's a walk in the park. Let's make a balloon pop game. First, let's set a background. A nice blue will do. Time to add a script. Call it Destroy Balloons. Open it up. Add a magic function when I click down. Destroy the object. Now I need something to destroy. Let's add a cube. Add the script to the cube. Test. Boom! Perfect. Is that a rigid body? Physics! Yay! This cube's pretty boring. Let's move it. Let's create a new script. Call it Move the Balloon. Open the script. Gonna get a reference to that physics rigid body we just added. Add some velocity on it in the y direction. Let's test that. Nice! Our cube moves up. It moves pretty slow though. Let's add a variable. Speed. Now we can control the speed on the side. Sweet! One cube's pretty boring though. Let's spawn some more. Let's create a spawner. Call it Balloon Spawner. Let's add a tag so we can see where it is. Let's go with green. Duplicate. Place. Duplicate. Place. Duplicate. Place. Duplicate. Place. Let's create a new object. Call it Spawners. We can put all our balloon spawners in this for easy access. Let's actually make the cube spawn now. Let's create a new script. Call it Balloon Spawner. Open it up. We need to get a reference to all those spawn points we created, as well as a reference to the cube. So let's create that. We'll have it select a random spawn point, as well as a random balloon, when we add those later. We'll then take a random balloon, spawn it at a random spawn point. We'll then add all those balloon spawners we added to our spawn point array. Our cube's still pretty boring. Let's add a material. Let's call this one red. And let's create another one. Let's call this one blue. We'll set the albedo of this one to red and the albedo of this one to blue. Let's create a red cube and a blue cube. We'll then add these two cubes to our balloon array that we added earlier. Let's try it out. Whoa, that's a lot of cubes. Destroy all cubes. Well, this is going to lag quite quickly. Let's add a clock mechanism that will destroy the cube after a certain amount of time. Now, after X time, the cubes will blow up, just like when you click them. Let's also add this clock mechanism to the balloon spawner. Now we can make it so not as many cubes spawn. There were only red cubes spawning, so let's fix that too. Let's add more cubes. Yellow and green. Let's make these cubes move at different speeds depending on their color. Let's give that a try. Alright, I like lots of cubes. Whoa, there we go. Keep destroying cubes. Let's add a button. We'll get back to this in a minute. Let's add a slider so we can change the spawn time of the cubes in-game. Awesome. Let's create a new function called Adjust Spawn Time. This will set the spawn time to a new spawn time generated by our slider. Alright, I'm tired of cube. Let's actually make some balloons. In Blender, I'm going to add a sphere. Delete. 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 Extrude. 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 Woo! Let's make it smooth. Yeah! Let's add our colors to these balloons. Red. Blue. Green. And yellow. Sweet. Those look good. Let's replace our cubes with our new balloons in the array. Let's see these balloons in action. Amazing! Let's test the slider. 
I like lots of balloons. Must destroy all. Let's make the button do something. Let's make it change the background color. Let's create a new script. Call it background color. Open it up. Now watch this. Woo! Magic. Now let's add some materials I created. Now let's tell the button to switch background color. Let's test it. Ooh, nighttime. Let's make it more exciting when we click on a balloon. Let's add a sound effect. Now when you click on a balloon, it will call the function play sound, which makes a pop sound. Sweet. Let's add our pop sound to each of the balloons. Let's hear it. Squeaky. Let's see this with a lot of balloons. Can't resist the squeakiness. Let's make an effect when the balloons pop. Let's set it to blue and red. That looks about right. When I'm happy with it, I'm going to duplicate it. Set this one to yellow and green. Let's add an object called effect. When the balloon pops, we'll spawn the effect at that location. Let's add these new effects to the balloon. Let's see it in action. Ultra satisfying. And that'll wrap it up. A full finished balloon pop game. Now if you excuse me, I'm gonna pop some. So many. Now that it's finished, I gotta export it to a device. I'm gonna click build, patiently wait. Gonna drag it to my device and install. And voila! A working balloon pop game at the touch of my fingertips. Well, I hope my two year old niece likes it. Well, thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Sweet! Can't resist clicking subscribe and like too. Yes.